Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, everyone. All right, awesome. Um, so, listen, we're excited to, to be here today, and thank you all for carving out time out of your busy schedule um, to join us for this um, exciting um, signing ceremony between Nash Community College and Western Governors um, University. And so, welcome again. Um, I'm Levy Brown. I am the VP of Student Access and Success here at the college. Um, just wow. One of, let some of you know, if you don't know, last week was Transfer Student Success Week, right? Nationally across the country, so on and so forth. And so to have this signing ceremony on the heels of that important week, um, I think that's incredibly important. Um, before I go any further, I want to acknowledge um, really quickly some very important people in the room, all of you right all of you right but also we want to thank our students for being here and engaging um, we want to thank um, our president of course and chancellor Coulter, um, the other representatives from wgu um, mr jackson and also um, esteemed colleague danielle drawn i see has made it um, in the room as well i'll go into that a little bit later um, and we also want to rec recognize academic leaders student access and success leaders as well as our board of trustee representatives that have made their way in the room. And so this is special um, and other key stakeholders um, to witness this awesome um, opportunity. I'll be brief, I can get long-winded, but I wanna make sure I take my time with this um, really quickly. Um, the college and university transfer work um, has been important to me for some time, professionally and personally, I'm right, um, for many reasons. Um, several years ago, I won't say how long, but it was a while ago, I transferred from UNC Pembroke um, to East Carolina University, but I also used my local community college, which was Craven Community College, to transfer to East Carolina. And so from that lens, these things are always important because those opportunities help to change my path, right? Help to set me in a different direction. Um, and I'm hopeful with my colleagues and all the faculty and staff who are here that this partnership with WGU and Nash Community College will help to shape the paths and change the lives of students um, that will take advantage of these opportunities. Um, with that being said, students will have an opportunity to go into many options, whether it be the College um, of Health Professions, College of Business, College of Information Technology, and also education transfer pathways as well. Um, one of the things we think about and we kind of ask casually sometimes, how many of us like for our family members to be able to pay their mortgage, pay their rent, pay their utilities and all, raise your hand if that's true. Okay, so everyone in here. And so these types of pathways um, allow our students to have livable wage opportunities um, for their families um, and really have those sustaining wage opportunities. Um, with that being said to Chancellor Coulter, Mr. Jackson, President Honeycutt, my boss, Dr. Harrell, our Chief Academic Officer, KJ, Heather, team, Dr. Ken Lewis, and many more. I appreciate your partnership for helping make this come to fruition today for our students, our deans, and our leaders as well. Um, also, as a point of privilege, um, two things. I want to thank, and I mentioned her earlier, Ms. Danielle Drawn for helping get us connected to WGU. Danielle, will you take a moment to stand just really briefly? Um, she is a WGU um, staffer and does a lot of work with students. She helped to make this connection um, in the summer um, of, of this year, and the chancellor and I have met each other over time, and so we finally get a chance to make it happen with President Honeycutt, so we're, we're happy about that. Um, lastly, I wanna take time to thank my wife who has snuck in the room as well, Elisa. Um, will you please stand really quickly? Um, she's taking time as well from her busy job and doing things that she does. And so again, this is a, a great opportunity for our students. And now I'm gonna turn it over to our esteemed president, Dr. Lou Honeycutt. Thank you, Dr. Brown. Well, Lisa, first off, you're gaining stars in your crown every day. <laughs> no, we're, we're certainly glad to have Dr. Brown here. But So I will start off as I always do and say great afternoon. Now, Chancellor, you know I didn't say good afternoon. This is Nash Community College. In a Nash Community College, nearly every day, but certainly a day like this, good just doesn't cut it. So great afternoon, everybody. Um, for those who may not know me, I'm Lou Honeycutt, and the cool thing about this week is on Friday, I start my sixth year as president of this incredible institution. And so just, I'm going to um, introduce a guest a little more in detail than, than Dr. Brown did, just because one of my bosses is here, and you always want to introduce your boss. Trustee Angela Gellyard came to see us today. Thank you for taking time out of your day. Yeah, absolutely. 
But today, to me, and I know to the chancellor, is all about partnerships and options. And one of the reasons I was so happy when um, Dr. Brown came to me and said, what do you think about signing an agreement with WGU, is it opens up another doorway of the many doorways they have opened to them, students that have built a base of success here at Nash. So if we can partner with, with any other school, certainly any other university, and give them more of these options to pursue um, something at their own pace, basically, and be more successful. The good news to me about it, too, is if, we, if they study here, then they study with WGU, perhaps they stay here when they're finished. And as we all know, every year, every county in this state sends its best and brightest out of its county. And they all go, to, for us, it's all UNC Wilmington. I think we all know why. Very rarely do they all come back. So if we can find other reasons to keep them local to finish their education, that's going to benefit us all. And so with that said, I would just say we appreciate the partnership. We're looking forward to the things we can accomplish together. And with that, I would invite up the chancellor of, of WGU North Carolina to give some words. Thank you. I appreciate it. Well, it is. Uh, it's the best time of uh, any we're out and about all the time, but when we get to come to a campus, that's our very special time. Uh, and since I don't work on a campus anymore, I used to uh, at Western Carolina University uh, many years ago. Um, anybody ever been to Cullowee, North Carolina by chance? Really? Wow. That's, that's okay. Well, I'm, that's half of my speech right there. I was <laughs> just asking if anybody ever been to Cullowee before. <laughs> uh, but, uh, and I live in Haywood County, uh, and we've certainly been going through a lot, as you do all did with the tornado, but we had our hurricane come through as well. And, uh, but it's it, to get on a campus and to be able to see students and meet students, uh, and, and you all is a very special treat. Uh, so it's something that we hold in high regard. Uh, just a few words about WGU for those who may not be familiar. And I, it's funny, since I worked at Western Carolina University, I've been in this shop four years and I'm still trying to get the G and the C right. So <laughs> when you were talking, I was listening out of my, my bad ear and I was thinking, I've got to say WGU. So, uh, <laughs> and sometimes I get to look at the name badge just to remind me. But, uh, uh, but Western Governors University is, uh, we're a competency-based university. Uh, we are, uh, so what that really means is students, uh, as they go through their courses, demonstrate mastery of the content. Uh, and as they do that, they can go on to their next course. So they can accelerate their curriculum and their pathway much quicker than a traditional setting. Uh, and uh, here in North Carolina, we have right at 6,000 current students in the state. Uh, approaching 10,000 graduates uh, since we started our affiliate in 2017. Uh, WG North Carolina is, is in a state affiliate of Western Governors University, which is headquarters in Salt Lake City. Uh, we are the largest university in the United States uh, from an enrollment perspective. We have right at 182,000 current students uh, across the country. Uh, right at 400,000 graduates, uh, and we've been in business for 26 years. Uh, it's called Western Governors because the Western Governors Association, there were 19 governors out west that back in 1997 got together and said, this internet thing is kind of new and wouldn't it be interesting on how that could influence education. Uh, and so that's kind of the corpus of how WGU got started. Uh, and we're in all 50 states. Uh, here in North Carolina, we have students and graduates in all 100 counties, which we're very proud of. Uh, and uh, and we, I think this marks our 28th uh, community college, North Carolina Community College System Institution partnership. So uh, AJ has been uh, hard at work, uh, you know, brokering these partnerships, uh, these articulation agreements. Uh, you may know, uh, he is retired now, but Algie Gatewood, who was the president of Alamance. Uh, so I, <laughs> Algie and I became good friends and, and uh, uh, when we were talking about our partnership and the first question out of his mouth to me was, are you here to poach our students? <laughs> <laughs> and, and he was sincere about that and I, and I knew he was and I said, no sir, we're not. Uh, 
students maximize their credit transfer if they can get their associate's degree first and then transfer over. And that's really why we developed the pathways. Uh, and we have a, our own department at WGU that maintains currency on those pathways. And really, we try to squeeze every credit uh, that's applicable for their degree program uh, that we can transfer over. So, and I think we do a good job of, of that. Uh, as Lou said, we have four different academic uh, areas, or, or Levy may have said that, but healthcare, including nursing, uh, IT, business, and teacher education. And we have bachelor's and master's degrees. All of those programs have uh, professional accreditation as well as our regional accreditation as a university. Uh, so, um, and it's interesting when you talk about, you hear about online universities, there, people have a different, some have different stereotypes or perspectives on that. Uh, but we are a nonprofit, private institution, uh, as I said, competency based and fully accredited. Uh, the average age of our students is about 33 years old, uh, and they progress through their bachelor's program just over two years on average, and just under two years through their graduate programs. So students can get done a lot quicker. I literally was on the phone with my daughter last night, who lives in Hendersonville. She's 32 years old. Uh, so she's in that right zone, uh, and uh, she wants to uh, she wants to consider a career change into psychiatric mental health counseling uh, and do and be a nurse practitioner. Uh, she's not a nurse now, so I was talking to her about kind of the pathway that we have. She was considering a counseling program at a private university in North Carolina that was going to be about six years. It was an online program, uh, full time six years, over a hundred thousand dollars. And I just, on principle, buckled at the knees, and I said, Mary, you cannot, <laughs> you can't get that out of your mind. <laughs> uh, and so I'm glad that now we're talking about, you know, a program that we have that, that might fit her career pathway. And that we do get a lot of students that come. Some, some have some college, but no degree. Some have a degree, but not in the field that they're really passionate about going into. Uh, and, and again, I talked to her very much about maybe getting her RN uh, at a two-year college. Uh, we have, there are two-year colleges across our great state uh, on every street corner, just like there are colleges and universities <laughs> where we're surrounded, but there's great opportunities to, uh, to, to go that pathway and then to come to WGU to finish out and become a nurse practitioner. So she was very excited and I was too. Um, so uh, I, that's just a snippet about WGU, uh, but as I said, we're located in North Carolina. Uh, and we have a, a growing number of partnerships here uh, over the past uh, six years. Uh, I'm talking with uh, President Cox and Brian Merritt about a statewide agreement. Brian and I know each other quite well when he was at Medal Tech, which was kind of just down the road from uh, where I live in Haywood County. Uh, and even my sister works at Southwestern Community College. She's the EA for Don Thomas. Uh, so I know Don very well, and, and I'm even invited to their Christmas party every year, which I think is very special. So I'm in our studio. Well, I'd love to. I, I tell you what, it's a great celebration, <laughs> and it's a great chance to meet all of your your better halves and your families. Uh, it's it's a great thing, and you know, being an online university, that's one thing we do miss is the personal interaction. Uh, we one thing I will mention is we have something called program mentors. Uh, and it is kind of like an advisor, but it's also a subject matter expert in their academic field. Uh, they are assigned to each student as soon as they enroll and start classes. And they stay with that student the entire program length. And they meet with the student at least every two weeks, if not more, more often. Uh, and I really feel they're more of a life coach, uh, but, but they have a regular cadence with the students that are under their uh, mentorship. And at graduation, our commencements are very much like yours. It is a family affair. It is, we just did one in Orlando and I shook 3,000 hands and there were <laughs> tears streaming down. I tried to keep my composure, but I <laughs> promise you, you see a 45 year old gentleman come across with genuine tears coming down their face. There's been something special. And, and, and all of our students have come from different pathways. Many we don't know about, but, but it's a, a significant moment in their life. Uh, it may have a general, generational impact, uh, and we feel that's really a, so, so that kind of experience that we have at our commencement, you all have at your commencement, uh, and the ability to change lives uh, is a tremendous business that we're in. And we're, we're very happy that this partnership will allow students at NASH to be able to consider another way uh, to go get a bachelor's degree or a master's degree. And uh, we think we have some good differentiators to consider. Um, 
so anyway, without further ado, I just want to say thank you for having us here, and it's a pleasure. Uh, and um, our offices are located in Durham, so we're not too far away. Uh, I think we have the traffic is a little weird right now because I think Vice President Harris is visiting in Raleigh, <laughs> and former President Trump is here, I think. Yes. And so uh, Glenn texted me and he said, "Hey, you know, we could have some traffic problems <laughs> on either side, but." We were able to get here in pretty good shape. So, uh, but thank you for having us today, and it's a pleasure to see you and meet you. And uh, we look forward to our agreement. Absolutely, great. Right. So, again, yeah. In conclusion, we are grateful um, for our partnership um, and these opportunities that they provide for our students, especially our working adult students. It's already been said that the ability to stay here in Nash County, uh, to still live here, finish your degree online um, is fantastic. And, and as I look at their offerings, um, data analytics, cybersecurity, cloud computing, nursing, health and human services, supply chain management, um, I'm really excited about the career opportunities these provide for um, our citizens in Nash County. Um, I found some statistics online, 86% of public schools across the country are struggling to fill vacancies. And today, on the Nash County Public Schools website, I count 20 teacher vacancies, one of them that says it's been posted since May. Um, you can help with that. You can help provide teachers um, for Nash County. Um, a workforce analysis of um, health care um, projects 78,000 RN shortages by 2025. And Nash County, I'm sorry, North Carolina was on their top 10 list of projected shortages by 2035. You can help our RNs become BSNs um, and, and reach the next level. And, and those possibilities are endless. Um, I've seen a, project, a prediction that 85% of jobs today's students will have in 2030 don't exist today. Um, and my team and I, some of my team and I just left um, some webinars on AI. When we think about AI, we think about technology and all of those changes, we are preparing students for a world that we don't know what that looks like. Um, but what this partnership allows is just that increased educational potential. Um, there are some skills that don't go away. Um, skills like problem solving, prioritization, organization, critical thinking, communication, resilience. Um, we lay those foundations here at Nash Community College and we're excited by the opportunity for you to help our students take that to the next level. So thank you everybody for being here. Um, we are excited about all the opportunities this provides for our students. And at a moment we all have been waiting for, um, <laughs> the president and the chancellor will sign the respective documents. We're going. I, I, I can't get my eyes off this very handsome. Go, yeah, left to right. Yeah. Oh, my goodness, it's in green. Where would you like me to sign? Ready when you All right. So I'm with you. So where do you like looking? Uh, boy, I, you know, I try to write left hand. I, my <laughs> signature might even be approved, uh, frankly. I couldn't <laughs> but, get worse uh, if I tried that. Well, we'll go ahead and do that. That'd be great. Okay. All right. And one more in your okay. WGU folder, if you'll sign that yes. one as well. Okay. Yeah. Do one swap? Yeah, you can do one swap. You don't mind? Okay. Yeah. All right. This, this is That's it. That's it. Yes. We can just file it right back in there. there we we'll go. have a complete set, uh, like three sets. Four. Very good. Let's give them a hand. <laughs> 